I fucking threw it. I threw the lipstick! Hello beautiful kittens, my name is Monica and Kate and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel, either one. Got new subscribers, got old subscribers, you know, gotta say hello to you all. So today is going to be a makeup video because I haven't done one in a while and your bitch likes makeup. Yes, I do. As you can see, I have gold in my eyeballs. This is the first time I've ever done gold before and I'm surprised that I actually don't look like a Oompa Loompa in my getup. So that's a plus. We're going to be doing recent favorites because in my last well, first, last, first beauty video, I kind of shat all over a lot of products and I don't want beauty companies to think I hate the products because I don't. I wear makeup not often, but I do wear makeup like when I film or when I want to look nice or you know, whatever, when I want to play with it, you know, like beauty. So I decided to just go ahead and do like a favorites because I do have some makeup favorites. Especially recently, I have like new things that I like. So we're gonna go ahead and get into that. My first product that I really like, I just now got this. I know this hasn't been like a new thing, but I just got this. I just bought it. And it is the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in the shade Celestial. It's really pretty. Oh my God. Really pretty pink color. I'm wearing it today, I don't know if you can see, it just looks like highlight, honestly. But this is really pretty highlight and it's pink. It blends super easily, like, and a little goes a long way, like I'm sure this is gonna last me like a fucking year or more, like you only need a drop, to be honest. It goes so far with just a tad bit and you can easily overdo it if you like drop a whole bunch, like you're gonna basically be lit up like a damn Christmas tree. So just go easy handed on this stuff, like don't, I mean, if I guess if you want to avant-garde it, you could if you want to. So that is my first recent favorite. I don't think that'll change. I really like the formula, blends easily. What I like to do is I like to put it on my hand and like spread it out a little bit and then dab it with a brush or your fingers. You could do either way, but I use a brush just because I have a brush that's designated for highlight and I just use that. I use Real Technique brushes if anyone's wondering because I love their brushes. Next recent favorite is one I just got because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but I have to say I'm impressed. It is the NYX Glitter, Glitter Primer. You know when you put glitter on your eyeballs and it falls out everywhere and it gets in your eye and threatens to blind you? Yeah. It's hollow. I love it. I love the bottle just of itself. I'm just like, oh my god, I'm a raccoon. And I have the elf one. The elf one is shit. The elf one is literal shit. Like, I don't know why everyone was like, this is so great. It's not. It doesn't actually hold. It just makes your eyeball wet. Like, your eyelid just droops because it's wet. That's it. There is no actual hold to it. This shit holds like none other. Oh god, I am through it. Damn! This shit holds like none other. I totally, totally recommend this. It's wonderful. Like, I just... I use it today on the Urban Decay Moon Dust because usually that shit falls out all over my eyeball and all over my face. But I use this and not, like hardly any fallout. Just like a tad bit of glitter, but I easily swept that away with a brush, you know. Easy peasy. So I recommend this. It's only like, I think $6. I know the Elf one's like three, but I mean the Elf one is shit. So I just recommend this. Next recent favorites, I mean I know this is not like a, a, also a new thing but I'm just now talking about it because I mean I just started on my channel like a month ago so. It's a liquid cat suit lip, liquid lipsticks. I love this. I love them. The formula is so breathable and so blendable and it looks so fucking good and it lasts all day like they don't flake when you talk. Ugh! Melted Too Faced lipstick! Like this actually stays on your lip. This is by Wet n Wild, the liquid cat suit. I have the shade pink really hard because I was like, what the hell does this say? This really nice doe foot applicator. You get a lot of product like on the applicator itself. I swear to God, you need to focus. There we go. See, it has a really nice doe foot applicator. You get a lot of good, like it has like a chair applicator. So it has like a lot of that product in there and you can spread it really easily. This shit is like, 
amazing. I love it. It's only like $5. I think it's like $4.99 at Walmart. And it's really pretty. Like the color's nice. This is basically like my nude because my lips are so pink already. Like pinky red. So this is basically my nude. Um, really blendable. Goes on easily. Lasts until you eat or drink. Um, transfer proof. No transfer. I highly, highly... What is with me trying to throw things? I highly, highly recommend the Liquid Cat Soup by Wet n Wild. I give this a 5 out of 5. Another lip product that I really like, specifically for the formula and the pigmentation, is Sephora Cream Lip Stains. Like, I love these so much. I don't know why people don't talk about them, I guess because they're not really... They are high-end because they're at Sephora, but at the same time, like, they're not Too Faced or Cap on D or anything like that. I thoroughly love the formula to this. It's so soft and it goes on so well. It dries matte. All of my, all of mine dry matte because that's the only way that I'll wear them is matte. I don't like the other things. I just don't. I'm weird. And the pigment is really nice. Like, as you can see, because I wear, I've worn this in a video, the pigment is really nice. And this is only like $14. I mean, I know that's up there, but it's like, it's worth $14. I want almost all the colors in this because this and the liquid cat suit are hands down my favorite type of formula ever. Because this isn't dry your lips out. I have like ridiculously dry skin and lips because I have hormone problems that no one can fix because I can't take birth control. And this doesn't dry my lips out, neither do the liquid cat suits. Like, I mean, they're a tad drying, but they're not like, oh my God, my lips cannot breathe type of dry. That's not that bad. These are just really nice. I mean, they do come off, like obviously they come off with eating or drinking, but if you just like go out for a while and don't eat or drink anything, they'll last all day. They won't flake or anything of that sort. Um, I mean, over like a span of eight hours, it'll start to like kind of wear down because I did wear the red one to this to a Amaranth concert. And that kind of started to bleed a little bit, like it started to come off and smudge off. It was still intact because I have a picture of me with the lead singer and um, it wasn't that bad, like it wasn't that noticeable, but it was obviously needed a touch up. And that was about seven, eight, nine hours after I had applied it. Um, the concert was really long, so I mean, and I was headbanging and screaming and, you know, being me. I mean, if it can last through that, I believe that you can last through a day, bring it with you to work so you can, you know, readjust it and all that stuff after you're done, like you're, you're drinking or talking a lot, who knows. I give the Sephora cream lip stain, I have mine in the shade Nightbird, I think it's called. Nightbird. Mm, I, don't know. I give these a five. Also, I I want a green in it because my green matte Too Faced is junk. <laughs> Next product I was pleasantly surprised from is the Lash Princess by Essence. This is like a two dollars, I believe two dollars. It's wonderful. I'm wearing it today. Can you see? It's a tad clumpy, but it's not like I can't fix it clumpy. It's a it's a nice. Nice formula, very, very volumizing and lengthening. And make sure if you do get it, you get the um, false lash effect. I think this one is just volumizing, I think. Get, make sure you get the one in the green tube because I tried the one in the pink tube and that was literally awful. Like it didn't do anything, to be honest. And I have really long eyelashes. So, I mean, if you double mine, it's obvious but that didn't do anything. So make sure if you do get this, which I do recommend this, this is wonderful. If you want a low budget, like a drugstore brand from Ulta type of mascara, I highly recommend this. It's wonderful for literally just one coat will magnify. Imagine two coats, cause I don't need two coats cause my lashes are already like fucking long. So I just use it to like darken and slightly lengthen. Imagine two coats. Or you can do Lash Paradise. I have not tried that one, but I heard it's really good, so... But I mean, this is cheaper than that, so I... I clearly recommend Essence Lash Princess in the green tube. Make sure green tube. I give this a 4 out of 5. I'm all of a sudden rating things, I don't know why. Next favorite I have of recent is the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. I really do like this. The formula's slippery, kind of, but it's not like oily slippery. It just feels nice, especially when you have dry skin, which I do. My skin cries for help. 
especially now. I just find that the it's nice and light. I will try to I'll swatch it. Whoa, that is that is highlight. See, as you can tell, here is some. That's how it looks like, and when you rub it out, you can see. It's kind of sticky, but I mean, it dries really quick and it has that silicone feeling, which I don't know about y'all, but I love the silicone feeling. Like, I just, I love it. I don't know why. A lot of people hate it. I love it. I don't know. I don't know why. I just think it feels soft. So it dries down and then you can just wait like a minute or so and apply your uh, foundation and concealer and all that good shit. And it feels really good. I really like it. I don't know some people are like, eh, it's just so pretty, but I, I don't know. I like it. So just give it a try because if you can get it at Ulta and if you don't like it, you can always just take it back to Ulta. So I guess this is more of like a get to try it kind of thing. I give this a 4 out of 5. It's not like mind blowing, but it's still, I don't know why I keep going over here. Like I'm, I'm actually right handed, so I'm like, hi. I give, definitely give this a 4 out of 5. Go try it. At least try it. Like swatch it and see if you like it in Ulta. Next from NYX, I got these, I got a pack of two at the NYX store. I actually got these um, concealer spongy things. I love these. I love them so much. They're denser. I mean, you can still get them wet and stuff and like do things with them, but they blend out things so easily. Like I love using my concealer and just like getting under there with it. I love these. I didn't think I would like them, but wet or dry, like they're wonderful in my opinion. I really like these. I'm glad I got two because, you know, I need to wash, clean them and things, and they take a while to dry, but I definitely recommend these. I think they were like 14 for both, or maybe 12 for both. They also have like beauty blenders that I haven't tried, but I will, I do want to try that. NYX, if you're watching, if you would like me to review that, I totally will. Like, I'm not gonna say no for reviewing shit. Like, I love reviewing things my honest opinion. So I definitely like these and I like the little like bullet looking things. They're so silly and cute. Next, I got as a pressed sample. Here is the Bye Bye Pores by It Cosmetics. I actually want to buy the full size of this. I love it. I love this stuff. It blends out so well. It doesn't like cling on to dry spots. It's really nice. I really like it. Um, I, I've used like half of it, I swear. Let's see. Oh no, never mind. I mean, I have used a lot of it, but I really like it. It does do its job and it sets your powder, your powder. It sets your foundation really well and under your eyes. It is translucent, I'm, I think. I mean, it doesn't have, it doesn't do anything to my face, so I'm assuming it's translucent. It doesn't say it's translucent though. That's weird. Oh, never mind, never mind, I'm dumb. Translucent. It's translucent, just trust me. It blends really well, it goes on really well. I have literally no complaints. I really like it. Um, I kind of like it more than the Kat Von D Locket setting powder in translucent. I find that one to actually be drying and it sticks on to like your dry spots. And this doesn't do that, which is why I prefer this and I've been using this like crazy. I'm gonna use this entire thing and I really want some more. So this is definitely a five out of five. Like go try this. Like if you, I got this at Sephora as like a sample for like being a, um, yeah, VIB, being one of those. So definitely go try this, I give this a five. And that is everything for my recent favorites. If I have any more, I will continue to add them, whatever, make more videos because I really do love makeup. Even though I don't wear it that often, I do like makeup. Thank you so much for watching, beautiful kittens. I hope this helped you. Like if you were eyeing some of those things and weren't sure if they were good or not, I hope this helped you. And remember that I love you guys and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, you know, touch the bell, touch the bell, touch the butt down there and get notifications when I upload. And please stay beautiful, lovely kittens.